few, the proud, the chosen. We are the safety rangers of the Third Street School, and we're looking for a few good kids. I'm looking for a few good spitballs to shoot at this dweeb. The question is, are any of you prepared to accept the challenge? <sighs> to wear the orange belt of honor. To hold high the sacred sign of safety. And finally, to live by the ancient bylaws of the safety rangers. I'd like to conclude with a moving slide presentation of last year's safety ranger graduation ceremony. Can someone get the lights? I will! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Imbecile. One BLT on Vita going once, going twice, and sold to the Bucky Kid with braces for a partially scratched Mikey? 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 Huh, what, what? You okay, man? There's a double chuck of brownie up for trade and you didn't even put in a bid. Oh, well, it's just a brownie. Just a brownie? brownie? 98.6, seems normal. Pulse is good. I'm okay. It's just that ever since Captain Bragg came to our class this morning, all I can think about is them. You mean how dumb they look in their goofy uniforms? No, I mean how much I want to wear one of those goofy uniforms. You mean you want to be a safety ranger? Why? Because if I was a safety ranger, everything would be different. I wouldn't be just Mikey. I would be Mikey the safety ranger. I'd wear the uniform of all the great safety rangers who came before me. I'd learn the secret hand signs. I'd be the last line of defense between humanity and the evils of technology. Like you and your life get Children everywhere would love and adore me. And animals, too. It's my dream, guys, to protect and serve to be respected by all mankind. But who am I kidding? It's just a fantasy. They never take me. What are you talking about, Mikey? You heard Cats and Brad. They're looking for a few good kids. Nah, to be a safety ranger, you gotta be cut from the special cloth. Hey, you're cut from the special cloth. I am? Sure. Honest, loyal, hardworking, you're the perfect candidate. Really? Of course. Captain Brad will be thrilled you want to join up. Why, I can hear him now. Ah! <laughs> oh, you, a safety ranger? You couldn't even cross your own legs without tripping. Ah! So, is that a maybe? <laughs> That's a never. Just look at what you've done to safety stand. He'll never be the same. Hey, pal, it's his dream. Hey, I know you. You're that jaywalking punk anarchist. Why are you at a... Don't worry, Spinelli. He doesn't have the right to say who's in and who's not. Oh, I don't, do I? Well, let me just show you something, baby boy. You see this? It's the official safety ranger's handbook. And according to this, I'm the guy who hands out the orange belts. And I'm the guy who decides which kid stands on which corner. And I'm the guy who gets to approve of who's in and who's out. And, since this isn't the future Dorks of America Club, Fat Boy here is definitely out. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got our morning drills to finish up. Let's go, Grunts! Come on! Up, two, three, four! Up, two, three, four! Hey, forget about that jerk, Mikey. Yeah, it's his loss. Thanks, guys. I know you're trying to make me feel better, but it's no use. Being a safety ranger is the only thing I ever wanted. But now it looks like my dream will never come true. Hey, Mikey, I'll trade you my nuttials for your winner dinner. Here, just take them. Take the whole thing. Man, I've never seen him like this before. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help him. Like what? If that jerk brat says that Mikey can't be a safety ranger, then Mikey can't be a safety ranger. Not necessarily. Hey, where'd you get that handbook? Boosted it off, Captain Kook. No one calls Spinelli a jaywalking punk anarchist. Gee, I ought to give that back. Okay, but I'm keeping the watch. It's courts. The point is, according to rule number 76J, the captain gets to pick who's in and who's out. But, according to amendment 76K, and I quote, the captain may be overruled if a potential recruit is personally sponsored by two other guards. Great, but out of that gang of safety ranger robots, where are we going to find two guards who stand up to Brad? I think I might know just the guys. Move it, you babies! My grandmother can much better than that! You make me sick! Move it, move it, move it! More nuts? Whipped cream. Until it's that the hot fudge starts to cool off. Nothing worse than cool hot fudge. No, no, everything's great. Yeah, it's real nice you guys to treat all this stuff. Hey, you guys deserve it. Standing out there on those corners all day, crossing kids back forth and back and forth. And speaking of corners, we know a guy who'd love to be a crossing guard. Oh, yeah, who's that? Our pal Mikey. You guys are kidding, right? Do you have any idea how mad Captain Brad would be if we went around him? Come on, you guys, this is Mikey's dream. Hey, we got a dream too, you know, but you don't see anybody going out on a limb for us. Well, suppose we could make your dream come true. Then would you help us? Well... Okay, you got yourself a deal. Great. By the way, what is your dream? To sing the national anthem over the school PA at the weekly flag-raising ceremony. We're doomed. Not necessarily. 
So, Menlo, you help Miss Lemon with the flag ceremony every week, right? Yes, that's correct. And as her helper... I'm not her helper, I'm her aide. Right, right. And as her aide, you get to see the list of who gets to sing the national anthem, right? Naturally. Behind the yellow line, please, the counter area is for office personnel only. Well, what if next week Cal and Ronnie's name just happened to appear on the list? Have you lost your mind? It's alphabetical order only. If Miss Lemon ever found out I did that, she'd take away my filing privileges for life. Look, Menlo, this is really important to us. You do this for us, and we'll do something for you. Depends on what? Anything. Just tell us what you want and we'll take care of it. I want to carry Ashley A's books home for her after school. She's different from the other Ashleys. That hair, the way her name sounds, Ashley A. First in filing, first in my heart. Well, goodbye, good luck. Just a second. This may be doable. All I have to do is let him carry my books from the playground to the corner of my street. That's all. And I could cover them with plastic so he didn't actually touch them. We'd be happy to wrap them ourselves. Well, then the answer is... <laughs> Come on, Ashley A. Haven't you heard something that you really wanted but you couldn't have? As if. Yeah. Look, there is nothing we want that we don't have. Oh, my gosh, a snail. Ew. Okay, here's the deal. There's nothing I want, but there is something I need. My little sister Brittany stole my diary. She could blackmail me forever with just pages five through eight. You guys get it back, and I'll let that disgusting Menlo carry my books. One little diary, piece of cake. Where is your sister anyway? I can't believe Ashley A's sister's a kindergartner. Well, she is, and we gotta do it. Mike, you better appreciate this. I come from the land of the big kids who ride two-wheelers. I seek a formal sit-down with she who goes by the name Brittany. Uh, Brittany A. Brittany A, you have taken your big sister's writing book, and we say you have to give it back. We'll give you candy. We'll give you money. I will give you anything you want. Diary, very valuable, has big price tag. Brittany A has big dream. She wants what? Well, just wants your highness? Yeah, every little kid wants to sit on a big kid's chair at some time or another. Yeah, but on my throne? Please, oh great King Bob, sir, grant us this one request and we'll never bother you again. Take them to the dodgeball wall. But your highness, it's Mikey's dream to be a safety ranger. Come on, Bob, even you must have had a dream at some time in your life. What? King Bob have a dream? That's ridiculous, that's crazy, that's... Henchman, leave us. But your highness... Amsgray! You're right, fourth grader. Even I, the great King Bob, have a dream. Once, just once, I, I wish there was somebody who liked me for what I am on the inside. Not for my royal title. Someone who would pass the crown in the jersey and see just plain Bob, the regular kid I am underneath. I'd give you guys anything, anything, if you could just give me a real friend. Well, might as well get this dodgeball punishment thing over with. Actually, there might be a way. <laughs> dream come true. Actually, when you think about it, we made a lot of kids' dreams come true. But best of all, we helped the pal. What the? Mikey, what are you doing here? You didn't want to win your dinner? But you're supposed to be outside helping little kids cross the street. Oh, yeah, that. I quit. What? I guess I just wasn't cut from the cloth after all. Not cut from the cloth? But, Mikey, you didn't even do it one whole day. And what a run day it was. First, I had to get up early and miss breakfast. Then it started to rain. And when I tried to stop them kids from skateboarding in the streets, they spat at me. But it was your dream. Not anymore. Now I got a new dream, to be a jet pilot. See how these guys fly around in the clouds, soaring and diving and... Hey, where'd everybody go? Hey! <laughs>